What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another My name is Jeff. Reacts. And welcome back to your Dylan Day. Oh, I actually just realized the lighting. I like this way better than the other one. Uh, you guys tell me what you think in the comments. But no, in all honesty, like this takes me back to just thank you, dude. This is a, one of the biggest ways that I can just simply say thank you for all your help over the years. I mean, you're my cousin, but you've always been like, you and I have always been so close. You're my brother, man. Just whether it's skits when we were little or you're helping me manage my channel now and everything like dude like you've done so much we've been so close over the years you're awesome i really wish i could find a better way to show my appreciation for you i really do like this is something but i want to do so much more i know you keep saying it's all good but dude but i won't sit here and be sappy forever what am i doing but i do thank you bro <clears throat> anyways you told me today to do cosmic for the next dylan day so i will I was a little bit worried because I haven't finished the newest album yet. There's still a few songs left, and if you guys still want me to finish it, by all means, I will. But he wanted me to check this out first and foremost. What did you say about it? You just said that's your jam right now. So I don't even know if you paid attention to the lyrics or not. I mean, it is what it is. Either way, we'll dive into it. But without further ado, I hope you guys are having a good day. And if not, I hope I can bring some sort of positive light to your day. Because guys, whatever's going on for you, whatever it may be, just remember that you are not alone you are never alone. You're a warrior. You're a soldier. Stay strong. I believe in you. And if you need it, the comments are there for you to vent, or you can DM me personally on my socials. But you do got this. Bro fist, high five. You got this, guys. I know it's easier said than done, but you do got this. Try to stay strong. Try to stay with me. Now, if I may transition, please, please check the links in my description. You won't regret it. I promise. And guys, I don't have any links for them, but I do have... My name is Jeff, phone holders there, 1050, including shipping. If you are interested at all, please uh, message me on my social. Now let's get into this. Come on, come on, come on. Made from all there was before, we shut another door, but not a last goodbye. Is taken once again. A fight will never win. And time again we try. Left alone, I can't wait too long. Fade. How could I forget about the uh? Animated mean, skeletons for this. That's just their thing. So and now he kept it himself. And in so many lives, sometimes we got it right. Pain, it found its way back in until we meet again. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here because I feel like it's about to. It's, it's happening anymore. I don't know if it's gonna be in the next 10 seconds, the next minute, but it's gonna escalate. Very soft start so far. I know they're it's Avenged Sevenfold. They hardly ever do soft songs. And they're definitely one of those bands that'll start soft and the so it's coming. I don't seven and a half minute song. Jeez, I didn't even see that until just now. Yeah, this is gonna get hectic real fast. Definitely love the kind of subtle tension of the song so far. It's peaceful yet creepy at the same time. And of course, like I said, the skeletons, like they've been doing, like that's like their trademark. Not much has happened so far. I just wanted to get in a pause for copyright reasons. Let's get back into it. Back in until we meet again into that good night. Oh, you're killing me. As we chase through the stars beyond the river, I'll follow you. I can't keep up with that. That's so bad.
Okay, pause right there. Holy crap. I gotta catch my breath. Holy crap, Ola. That was wild beyond. <sighs> Never mind, just... I didn't know which one to do more, guitar or drums. I mean, I definitely prefer the drums, but the both of those were sick at the same time. Just, just overwhelming energy. Just, no, 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 going. Forget it, I'm going over animated. Deal with the YouTube. I definitely have still have no idea what the song is about. I've just heard, I mean, he's singing, but I haven't picked up the lyrics at all. I'm just listening to the music. I've tried to listen to lyrics here and there, but it's just one of those things. I just, this is just one of those songs I can't pick up on it. Like I'm trying, but, and it's like the harder I try, the worse it gets. I'll just look up the lyrics after, it's all good. If I catch another lyric or two here and there, it's fine. Whew, let's get back in. Let's just do it. Dude, just so tense, so tense. I love it. Is that the very end? Wait, no, there's still two minutes. I'm gonna pause right here while I can. Get all the pauses in that you can for a long song like this, especially with the Avenged Sevenfold. It may get blocked for all I know, and it's audio, so there'd be nothing I can do about that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and exit out of this. For whatever reason, I keep thinking the lyrics are gonna be in the video with these visualizers, but they're not. There are lyrics videos and there's visualizers. Sometimes they have the lyrics and the visualizers, but not every time. But I'm gonna Google the lyrics and the meaning right away. And not too many lyrics, thankfully. I mean, it's a long song, but it's mostly instrumental. And there's probably a couple times a chorus repeats, so there's probably really not that many lyrics. And do they have a meaning anywhere for it? They actually don't. Well, actually, what is this? This might be something. And there's nothing to it. It's just simply saying that it's a part of their new album. Oh, never mind. Scroll further, Jeff. Scroll further. All right, let's get back into it. We got the lyrics and the meaning up and everything. Let's go. Finish this thing out. Tense, tense. Are we gonna stay this way? Or are we gonna build back up? Looks like we're building back up. That bird. Oh, 
Absolutely sore. They are gone. Dude. Oh, I wanted to try so hard in the last minute and a half to keep up with the drumming and I just couldn't. Like my elbows are just like, like my muscles are tense in my arms, but like my elbow, like my joints are they're sore. I can't do it anymore. <sighs> I just gotta take a second. Like I wanna dive into it, but I gotta take a second to just Dude, I see why you love that song. I really do. I mean, it's Avengers Sevenfold, so it's, I mean, and I'm not gonna lie, the spiritual-like stuff kinda gets me a little bit, if you will, but that's neither here nor there. Like, the music is good, it just is. I can see why you like it. I really do. Just a full-fledged jam session. <laughs> the drums, they just went to town on the guitar as well, but like, it was, I mean, they, they made a beat out of it, like they made us, they were able to make a song, but that was a full-fledged jam session. That was just, like, they just went to town and had fun with it, I swear. Just awesome. I, I miss playing the drums so much. Dude, you're killing me. My drums are right there, and I still need to set them up. I just don't have any room. Ugh. All right, let's read this. Fate from all there was before we shut another door, but not a last goodbye. Fate has taken once again. A fight will never win, and time again we try. Left alone, I can't wait too long. Fade. Love so many times and in so many lives, sometimes we got it right. Pain, it found its way back. Until we meet again into that good night, none too far as we chase through the stars beyond forever. I'll follow you. That's cute. Dancing in the wind as roses born again, there you'll find me before the dawn of man. In castles made of sand, there you'll find me riding in the caves as, as far the light, as fire lights the way. There you'll find me, mask of royal glow, done in Pharaoh's clothes. There you'll find me, let it go, yeah. Rings of dust and ice, weightless in the night. There you'll find me, let it go. And then the chorus again. From all that was before, shut another door. Dang, that actually sounds really poetic. This is a very poetic song, but one which broken down to its base thesis sentiment seemingly centers on the simple notion of the vocalist considering the addressee to be his soulmate. As insinuated in the first verse, their relationship is a troubled, seemingly on and, on and off one, but such but despite such challenges, Shadow still considers this lady to be the one for, he, for who he will go to the distance for, as expressed at the end of the passage. So with that in mind, it appears that the second verse revolves around the vocalist's belief that they were made for each other, that is to say that no matter when or where they may or have been placed, M expresses his commitment to his sweetheart. In other words, it's as if he's trying to say that they were already together in past lives, a notion which the singer also sort of points in the first verse. But in terms of such innuendos, the more down-to-earth message behind them reads something that at times the pair may treat each other well, and at times they might be at odds, but the mistakes or estrangements do not negate the fact that they are in love with each other. So, actually a love song for a change by them. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't heard too many of those from them, so it's kind of crazy to hear that. And for once, it's not even just a love song. Like, he's calling it out like, hey, this isn't the best relationship. Like. We have more fights than most couples should, but no matter what happens, I want you by my side. Like, you may think that I'm crazy for this, I may think you're crazy for that. Like, let's be real here. There's times we really butt heads, which kind of isn't great, but they, like, they both admit, like, no matter what happens, they are that in love with each other. Like, they can deal with life. They can deal with the bad circumstances. The good, with the good comes the bad, the bad comes the good. They want to fight through all of that and stay strong together. And, Sometimes it works, you never know. It's like, I would never recommend anybody, if, you know, if you're always fighting and you're not happy, don't stay in that relationship. But some rare times they can make it work, you know, polar opposites, you know, sometimes it's better. Like, rare, sometimes, sometimes, do what you gotta do. If it makes, if that person really does make you happy, even if you argue more than you're technically supposed to, like, if they really do make you that happy, by all means, stick it out. I can't, I can't judge. Everybody's got a different, way that they express their love, you know? <clears throat> Me, personally, I'm the overly mushy type. Like, I could be on here, you know, doing Adam Calhoun or Avenged Sevenfold or Evanescence and just like, oh man, man, that was sick. That was just awesome, like my guy's stuff. As soon as I'm with my girl, total, total cornball. I'm a total mushy head. I can't help it. I'm a hopeless, deep, hopeless romantic. 
I like to have the guy time, but equally, like, I like to just dive into my sensitive side with my girl. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm sensitive all. Whatever, whatever. But at the same time, not everybody is like that. Some people like to express their love in a different way and to each their own. My biggest qualm with a toxic relationship is if you, you can fall in love with, some, you can say you love somebody and be with them for like a year or two or sometimes even longer, but if there's really no like compassion, there's no affection being shown. Like at the end of the day, if you're really not happy with somebody, get out of that relationship, period. But if they do make you happy no matter what's going on, then by all means, do what you gotta do. My camera just shut off on me, so it's my cue to shut up. You guys in the comments, let me know what you think, Dylan. Thank you, seriously, once again, man. I appreciate that one. That was an awesome jam session. Did not expect that to be a love song, but hey. And for Avenged Sevenfold. You guys in the comments, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, remember... My name is Jeff. Pep Junkies Unite. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Love, peace, and chicken grease. You guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic night.